All right, guys, this was a brand that I've been wanting to share with you guys ever since I got back from the Microlex show in Chicago. I met the owner of Axia, John. Here's his card. I'll put a link to the website down below. But uh, I had a great conversation with John, and I, I could just instantly read the uh, vibrant passion he had for this you know, endeavor. And so basically what he's done... Um, well, let me give you some history, I guess. John is a Ivy League school graduate. I forget what school he graduated from. Um, I, I could be wrong, but it might have been Penn. Um, so, and he wanted to create, because there really wasn't a solid option for a gift watch or memorabilia type watch for the Ivy League schools, you know, um, and he'll expand, but... Uh, so he put together a project to make a good quality timepiece and affordable and then have the school, I mean, primarily the object was to have the school logo on it. So like this is the Princeton Shield here. And you can see this is on the GMT version or the Kronos. Um, and you're going to have all of the great components. You're going to have the sapphire crystal, anti-reflective coating. You have the automatic GMT style Salida movement. Um, display case back, uh, you know, quality, genuine alligator handcrafted in the USA straps. Um, I mean, everything is just, there's, you know, really no shortcuts here. So you're going to have a quality timepiece that is going to last you a long time. And then also you're going to be able to commemorate your school pride. So like right now he has um, 10 of the uh, Ivy League schools, but he's working to expand that maybe into the Big Ten championship type schools. Um, and then who knows from there. It takes a lot of paperwork, a lot of time, a lot of phone calls, emails, all of that stuff to make that happen. And uh, that's cool that he's putting in that kind of work because I think there's a big, big audience out there that uh, would love to have these timepieces. I can think of quite a few people just in my family alone that would like to have some sort of, they're more of the Big Ten, not the Ivy League. So hopefully John can keep expanding. But uh, let's just talk about the watch real quick. You can see this is, like I said, the Kronos, the GMT, probably the more sporty of the lineup. Um, check out the web website. This is the one that kind of speaks to me more so than the dressier one. I'll show that one in a moment. But uh, you can see a nice uh, date cutout just above the 6. It does not interrupt the 6 um, indice at all. The indices are, they look to be applied. They are slightly raised above the dial. And then you have a railroad track on the outside there. Um, with your um, other information. So, uh, you know, the pop of color, all that's gonna be dependent on which school you choose, or if you do choose, he also decided to make his own brand. So maybe you uh, just want the watch and you don't necessarily want it tied to a school. Um, I think this was something he kind of decided to do a little bit later. This wasn't his primary objective, but these watches turned out really nice. And he's like, hey, you know, maybe I should just have my own brand on there too for people that aren't necessarily looking to have it tied to their school. So there you can see the nice uh, Axia applied logo up there and kind of the same format, but this one's gonna have a little bit of blue pop to it. And then again, still you're gonna have that nice display back, alligator strap, all that stuff. So let me zoom back out. I'm gonna pop this on wrist for you. These are all brand new, John just sent them over. So the, the strap um, will take a, a little bit to break in but I don't know not much this alligator does seem pretty supple so it might look a little weird on my wrist but you can see there it is on my wrist seven and a quarter wrist wears great looks great I could definitely see having one of these I didn't go to um, an Ivy League college or anything like that so I would personally go after like the regular Axia branded one so uh, size on the case 40 mil 48 lug to lug the thickness is 11.3, 20 millimeter lug width, so the size is just perfect. I really like the hand stack on this thing. Um, Non-screw down crown signed, so it is going to be a 5 Atmos uh, water resist, which is going to be totally fine for everyday wear. You know, you can get it slightly wet, get caught in a rainstorm, whatever like that. It's not going to be a problem. Um, price tag is $8.95 on the GMT, um, $6.50 on the dress style one here. I'll show you in a minute, which is the Karyos. Car I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but but the, uh, Axia is doing a sale right now, and I'll put that down in the description too. They are doing 20% off, and it's through 
well, yesterday, today's the 26th, but November 25th through December 2nd. So let's take a look at this one because I know this uh, pop of orange is just insane good looking. So this is the Karyos, I might not be saying that right, 40 mil case, 46 lug to lug, so a little bit shorter than the GMT. Um, 11 thick, so pretty close to the same thickness. Slight um, double domed sapphire crystal anti-reflective coating, 20 mil lug width and then a non-tapering full polished bracelet with a really nice butterfly clasp. So this one's going to be a little more showy. You know, you have the SW200 movement and this guy also display case back. And then uh, non-screwed on crown, all that good stuff too. But you can see on this guy, um, definitely going to have that beautiful pop of orange. You know, you have a nice applied polished indices there. And then you can see that uh, track going around the outside helps separate some of that. And then there's a slight reveal after that with the orange too. So the circle date cut out and framed in is also really nice. It uh, ties in really good with the watch. So Delphine style handset, very cleanly polished. Um, this whole thing is full polished. So um, it's going to be a really killer looking watch. And then of course there's the non-school branded one too. And you'll have to go to the website because there's, and it's just fun to even look at the different school designs that he came up with. And then there's, you know, different strap options, different uh, color options and all that stuff. So you can see there on my seven and a quarter, this thing wears really good, easily a really nice dress watch. So something that somebody would be proud to own. So whether you're looking to purchase for yourself, because maybe you're just looking to remember the good old days of college, or if you are looking for a gift for a loved one, um, I think this is definitely a good option. And like I said, as soon as John starts adding the Big Ten schools to the lineup, you're going to see um, probably a pretty big hit. I think it's genius, and I think he executed that at the correct level. So the price points are affordable enough um, with the components being quality enough that you have um, a good package all around, both affordable and good quality. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to John for sending these over and putting together what I think is probably a really awesome project. Um, I can give you a glimpse of the pamphlet that comes with it. There's more going to it, and some of it is just the basics of like how to operate it and everything, but there's a quick glimpse of the specs. And like I said, this will all be down in the uh, description too. There'll be a link, and then there's the chronos. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video.